Hi guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and uh, run Canvas Studio mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. It's a really brilliant mod and if you want to see how it's used and what what stuff you can do, then make sure to check out my other video. Um, it's in a playlist on my channel so check it out. Okay, so first you want to open up your internet browser. I'm using Chrome because I like Chrome. Um, wait for it to load. Um, then you want to go on Google like this and you want to type in one sec, sorry <laughs> you want to type in here we go, camera studio mod 1.2.5 here we go, so we've got the Official Minecraft form 1.2.5 Camera Studio. So you want to click that. It's the first link. And wait for the page to load. And here it says things about it. And it's really, really good. I, I have to admit. Um, you can check out the videos if you like. They're pretty useful. And it shows you what you can do. And um, things like that. So one thing you're going to need to have is single play commands. If you don't have that, then check out my other video, and I'm gonna tell you how to install that. Without single player commands, you can't use this mod. Um, okay, so first you wanna download it. Here you go. I've already downloaded it, obviously. So, so here, link to latest version build 3.47 for Minecraft 1.2.4 slash 1.25. Okay, so when you click that, it will come up with Add Fly, and you just click OK, and then you wanna go and um, do that. Okay, so once you've had it downloaded, you go to percentage app data percentage or data as you Americans call it. Um, and then you want to go open that up, and so you've got your dot Minecraft, and you want to open up roaming, and you've got to go to dot Minecraft. Then what you want to do is go to bin and right click Minecraft and open it with. 7-zip or WinRAR, I use WinRAR which is a good program to use um, then you want to drag that if you have Windows 7 you want to drag that in and make it like that and what you want to do is open up your downloads folder or wherever you've downloaded it to and you want to get the where is it camera studio up uh, like so so only got uh, one, two, three, four, four, four things in the folder. So what you want to do is you want to select Sushin and yf dot class, uh, and what you want to do is click and drag them into your Minecraft jar. Um, I've already got it in, so I'm not going to do it. And make sure you delete your meta inf folder, otherwise it will not work. Um, so Sushin and your YF class should now appear here if I can find it. Uh, y, 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 YF class here. So you've got that and now. You just want to exit that, exit that, exit that, exit that, and you can open up Minecraft. Like so. And if you want to, um, have a clean Minecraft then all you have to do is delete your dot Minecraft folder and basically open up Minecraft and you'll get a, you'll get a completely new Minecraft jar um, no saves or anything but if you're gonna do that and you wanna keep your worlds then make sure you back up your Minecraft folder by copying and pasting it into somewhere okay so now I'm gonna go in and open up a world I use my 1.1 world because this is the world I used for making my other uh, my other ca camera studio video. So um, I'm just going to show you what it does, and in my other video I'm going to explain how to use it. So uh, uh, oh no, I didn't save it, did I? Oh, silly me. Oh well. Okay, so to show you what it does, I'm just going to show you here. It's gonna type in Camp P. Camp P is the uh 
thing to get um your coordinate and point there and then I'm just going to type in cam p and then I'm just going to go to cam go to p1 so take me back to my first point then I'm going to do cam sp cam start 30 seconds and this is what it does makes a really nice smooth path and then you can do things like uh, I'll go back and make it quicker cam P1 cam start 10 seconds so you can fiddle around with this and do whatever you like uh, there's loads and loads and loads and different things you can do you can do things like um, select you can do the time uh, on how the um, each day goes, you can make it like 30 seconds long, good for time lapses and everything like that, and you can do, you can even make paths that are like days, that can last sort of like tw over 24 hours, which is pretty cool, um, and so if you want to know how to do all of this stuff you can see on the screen, then make sure you go and check out my other video, and I'm going to tell you how to use it, okay? Thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and to subscribe if you want more like this, thank you. Thank you guys.